right, you guys, today we're going to take a look how to make morphing letters made out of simple grid system here in Illustrator. Step one, click on the fill, click on the none, click on the stroke, so it's going to be on the top. And let's select the rectangle, press and hold shift. Also, let's go to the stroke, make sure to align the stroke to the center, and then press control C and then control F to create a duplicate, or you can go to edit, paste in front, now you can see here these little circles. All you need to do is just bring them in. So it's gonna create a perfect circle. Let's go to the properties, click on expand shape. Select both, right click group. I'm also gonna decrease the stroke a little bit more. And we're gonna to need to duplicate these. So I'm gonna put them here, press and hold alt, drag it to the right, also press shift to isolate. Make sure that they're gonna intersect right here. Press control D, control D two more times to create duplicates. Select all of it, press and hold Alt, drag it downwards, also press Shift to isolate, intersect them again, press Control D until you're gonna have a rectangle like this. Select all of it, and now we're gonna press Shift plus M, or you can go and select the Shape Builder tool here. And all you need to do is just connect the shapes together like that. And I'm gonna create a letter A. This is pretty simple. I'm gonna connect these. It is symmetric and I'm gonna go here as well. And there you go. And you also can select the letter A here. I also gonna need to ungroup it, right click on group and I'm gonna select it and I'm gonna swap it from stroke to fill. There you go. And I'm just gonna bring it out. And that's how you make this pretty cool grid system for morphing letters here in Illustrator. Thanks for watching.